how to solve problems involving standard form. In this video, I will show you step by step on how to solve this type of question and we'll start right now. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you would like to improve in your math skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Let's take a look at the first question. For question number one, green plants need sunlight, water, chlorophyll and carbon dioxide to carry out photosynthesis process. One molecule of carbon dioxide gas consists of one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. Given the mass of one carbon atom is 1.93 times 10 to the power of negative 23 grams and the mass of one oxygen atom is 2.66 times 10 to the power of negative 23 grams. Find the mass of 50 molecules of carbon dioxide gas. One molecule of carbon dioxide consists of one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen. Okay, so we need to find one molecule of carbon dioxide first. Okay, one molecule of CO2, which is equals to, so one, so mass of one carbon atom is 1.93 times 10 to the power of negative 23. So one 0.93 times 10 to the power of negative 23 so in bracket plus 2 times of oxygen which is 2.66 times 10 to the power of negative 23 so 2.66 times 10 to the power of negative 23 okay so equals so this one I bring it down and then here will be plus 2 times 2.66 which is 5.32 times 10 to the power of negative 23 okay and then equals so because for these two terms okay they have the same 10 to the power of negative 23 so therefore I can add up 1.93 plus with 5.32 so 1.93 plus with 5.32 and times 10 to the power of negative 23 so when I add these two together, I will get 7.25 times 10 to the power of negative 23 and the unit is in grams. Okay, so to find, find the mass of 50 molecules of carbon dioxide gas. So it would be 50 molecules of carbon dioxide, so CO2. So equals 50 multiply with this answer that we have gotten just now 7.25 times 10 to the power of negative 23 so equals so 50 times 7.25 we get 362.5 times with 10 to the power of negative 23 so to change this to standard form we have to move this decimal point two places to the left so become 3.625 times 10 to the power of 2 then we bring this down 10 to the power of negative 23 so equals so 3.625 times so 10 to the power of 2 times 10 to the power of negative 23 so because of times we need to plus the power plus together the power so become 10 to the power of negative 21 and the unit is in grams For question number two, a cylindrical water tank has a diameter of 60 cm and height of 210 cm. Farida filled the tank with water 70% full. Find the volume in cm cube of water in the tank. To solve this question, first of all, I'm going to sketch the picture of a cylinder over here. So this is a cylinder. Okay. So diameter of 60 cm means that the radius is 30 cm. Okay, you just need to divide it by 2. And then the height for the cylinder is 210 cm. Okay, next I'm going to find the volume by substituting the values into this formula which is pi r square h. So to find the volume which is 70% full 
we need to multiply by 70 over 100 times with pi r square h okay so 70 over 100 times pi is 22 over 7 r is 30 so 30 square and h is 210 and then we use the calculator to calculate this we'll get 415,800 so we have to change this to become standard form so you have to move the decimal point to 1 2 3 4 5 until here so become 4.158 times 10 to the power of 5 and the unit is cm cube or cubic centimeter so this is the final answer for question number three a cardboard with a rectangular shape has a width of 15 meters and the length of 24 meters the cardboard needs to be cut into small rectangular pieces with a width of 30 cm and length of 80 cm each. Calculate the number of small rectangular pieces that can be obtained. To solve this question, first of all, I'm going to sketch a big rectangle over here. And then the dimensions are 15 meters and here will be 24 meters so if i change to cm here will be 1500 cm because i need to multiply by 100 to get cm okay and then for this will be 2400 cm okay i use 24 times 100 i get 2400 cm so to find the number of The number of small rectangular pieces that can be obtained I'm going to use the area of the big rectangular rectangle which is 2400 times 1500 divided by the area of the small rectangular pieces which is 30 cm by 80 cm so 30 times 80 okay and then i will get 1500 pieces so now i have to change to standard form so i have to move it how many places one two and three so 1.5 times 10 to the power of three pieces so that's the final answer well that's all for now do you wish to see more videos like this let me know in the comments below if you find this video useful hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my new videos every single week thanks so much for watching and i hope you guys will keep on learning keep on practicing and keep on watching my videos and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye guys